everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to do part two of our series, Speaker Size versus Room Size. This is a continuation of our most viewed videos, if you will, the top 10 uh, videos uh, throughout the last five years. Low frequency drivers, diameter output. We have a room. It's a glass. It's 16 ounces, let's say, for purposes of this video. When we bring in a low frequency driver, we're bringing in 24 ounces of liquid. So we got eight ounces that's not going to fit, roughly, okay? So what are we going to do with that water that doesn't fit? We're still going to put it in the room, right? So it's going to spill all over. That's distortion. So there has to be some balance. So we got to be careful with the output of these low-frequency devices. Difference between a 10 and a 12 inch, about 12, 2 dB, I'm sorry, 12, uh, about 2 dB of energy because of more surface area. So be careful. Bigger is not necessarily better. Quantity versus quality. So how do we get quality? We pressurize the room volume just enough. And there's ratios that we can use, but 10 inch drivers have their place. 12 inch drivers have their place. 15 inch drivers have their place. I don't know about 18s. Uh, this, uh, Still a little bit uh, fence sitting on that one. I haven't heard of uh, 18 that's really that fast. And I like the paper ones, I think sound a little bit more richer and fuller than, than the plastic drivers, but it's personal at that point. But 18 inch, I don't know if they really get it to move that fast with, with today's uh, other uh, speeds that we're working with. Middle and high frequency drivers. You have to be careful with the sidewall reflections. Let's take electrostatics and planers. Huge surface area, right? A planer has a huge surface area. So we have a sidewall here and a sidewall here and this much radiating surface area. My gosh, you're not going to be able to tell the direct sound from the speaker or the reflected sound from the room. You're just, you're not going to be able to distinguish if the sidewalls are too close. Same with dynamics. To be careful with sidewalls being really close. Even a four, five, six inch mid-range driver can be problematic. The time signature of that reflection, remember, has got to blend and marry with the direct sound from the speakers. This is the purest sound. This is the room form sound, or the purest uh, room sound, or purest sound we can get without room sound because it's direct straight line energy to our ears, and no reflections. Here's another one that's really a problem, ceiling reflections. I see speakers all the time a foot away from the wall. The drivers are up here. Well, that's craziness. Remember, go back to our example, we want to hear direct. So when we're hearing a, a reflection immediately off the ceiling because the speaker's too close to that boundary surface, you can't distinguish the direct from the reflected energy. So all that money you spent to buy that big box, you're not going to hear half of it. So be careful with that. Floor reflection, the same sidewall reflection we've already discussed. So look at the surface area of the driver. Look at the distances. There's formulas you can use to calculate all that, but a little common sense here wouldn't hurt anyway, especially with low frequency drivers. You're pressurizing a room. You're putting so much liquid in a certain size glass, and that's what you got to balance. You got to be able to balance. You know, when a bartender mixes a drink, they put a bunch of ingredients in the shaker. Shake it all up. What's always amazing to me is when they pour it, they pour it all out and it fills the glass perfectly. None spills. That's what we want to do here when you're pressurizing a room. You want to put just enough energy that it pressurizes to the top and nothing spills. It's always amazing to me they can have four or five ingredients and get that level, that liquid level, right at the top of the glass. Probably lots of experience. Lots of experience in these comments too. So take them to heart. Speaker size is room size. Part two. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.